The movie theater was packed. The parking lot was packed. There were more people in the parking lot than p people that will actually watch this video. That's how, like, the <laughs> we just got back from seeing Doctor Strange. Like, just sat down from getting back from seeing Doctor Strange. We want to talk about it. We don't want to spoil it. We want to share our thoughts. If you're curious about whether or not this is going to be a movie that you're going to appreciate or not, or you just want to hear what our general reaction was to this movie, that's what we're here for without spoiling. Right, Adam? Without spoiling. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Benedict Cumberditch is back, of course. Benedict Cumberbatch. I think you said- Oh, I said it wrong? What did I say? I think you said Benedict Cumberbitch. <laughs> I did not say Benedict. We're, we're going to replay it. Benedict Cumberditch. We'll, we'll see. Um, Sam Raimi's back for the first time since 2013 in the director's chair. Got him back from really the first three original Spider-Man movies with Tobey Maguire. I, I kind of have a bit of a take as to whether or not somebody is going to maybe appreciate this movie to its fullest, depending on where they're coming from and their understanding of Marvel and really their understanding of Sam Raimi. But let's start with the obvious. And that is this movie really just picks up from Spider-Man, right? And to a degree, we get some tie-ins with WandaVision. We probably saw that in the trailer. You do want to have seen WandaVision going into this. Wanda's entire motivation and why she is what, you know, who she is in this movie is tied to WandaVision. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it was absolutely not what I was expecting. They definitely let Sam Raimi be Sam Raimi for this movie. About as um, much as you can in a superhero franchise. More so than Spider-Man, I would argue. Oh, absolutely more than Spider-Man. Absolutely. Like, the real the real thing that you knew that Sam Raimi did Spider-Man was Bruce Campbell and his brother were both in Spider-Man. But his style is like a lot of his filmmaking style, his cinematography yes. style. Everything was very muted when he did Spider-Man. This is absolutely Sam Raimi. What I think Adam's referring to, when you look at Spider-Man, his filmmaking techniques are there, and he relishes a bit in sort of the horror aspect, uh, the way that he kind of adds tension and the frenetic sort of camera work that he does. You think about Spider-Man 2 when, when Doc Ock first appears and every step that he took, you had the camera zoom, zoom, zoom. You get a lot of that in this when we're talking about similarities, but for him to lean into a bit more of a horror element that I think many people would not expect just from watching the trailer if you have small children, depending on the type of content you've let them watch before, you may want to watch this first yourself. So to your point, Adam, and this is where my thoughts are, I think as a standalone experience, if you're going into a Marvel movie looking for that uh, and you want it to kind of be its own film with its own tone and its own sort of you know, fingerprint from the director's uh, touch on this, you're going to be pretty satisfied in that regard. If you're going into this from a larger overall picture of as an MCU fan, how does it all tie in? There are plenty of little nuggets. There's plenty of things that I think are going to, you know, implications for future films, but it's going to feel a little bit of a departure uh, tonally from really any MCU film you've seen up to this point. Fair to say? <clears throat> Very. Those who have watched Moon Knight will also know that Moon Knight takes a completely different turn than most any other Marvel uh, stuff as well. So I feel like Marvel is definitely having fun um, playing with the, the, the feel and the tone of their movies and to a certain extent, leaning into the tone of the comic books too. Like Dr. Strange. Yes. He appears in across multiple books across the Marvel comic book series, but his books dive into the magic mysticism and weird stuff at times. And I think this movie allowed them a lot more than the our, the origin story did to lean into what Doctor Strange, a Doctor Strange universe would look like. And music wise, they leaned into it also because you had Danny Elfman doing the music. Danny Elfman's back alongside Sam Raimi, having done the, the score for Spider-Man as well. Imagine Sam Raimi doing an army of darkness feel type movie. There are elements that are very army of darkness with a Danny Elfman score over top. If you are a big fan of Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell is, does make a cameo because it is a Sam Raimi movie. So, you know, look forward to that. If you're one of those people who likes spotting uh, the Bruce Campbell cameo in every Sam Raimi project, uh, he is, he is in it and it's a good one. That's all I'll say about that. 
I'd be actually pretty satisfied if Bruce Campbell was basically the new Stan Lee as far as just appearing in every Marvel movie. But okay, wrapping up sort of overall thoughts about this, I think we've kind of given enough of uh, heads up as far as expect a little bit of the unexpected in terms of tone. It's going to get weird. It does get strange, much like previous films where it gets trippy. It's, it's a good movie. It's a fun movie. Turn your brain off type movie as much as you can in the Doctor Strange movie where we're talking about multiverse and things like that. It, it gets a lot of style points, in my opinion. And the story wasn't bad. There were some areas I felt like they could have trimmed out, some character motivations and some clunky lines. So with that said, uh, you know, I'd give it a, again, I'd, I'd say uh, soft B. I don't know if I have a, a rating for it. I enjoyed it. I think part of me needs to see it a second time um, to really kind of finalize my opinion because it did catch me off guard a lot. Like I, I did the trailers did not represent what this movie was going to be at yeah, all. I don't think we could, we could emphasize that enough. If you've seen no. the trailers, do not expect what you saw in the trailers, which is a good thing. I enjoyed it. I really liked the fact that Sam Raimi got to be Sam Raimi in this. I, I really enjoyed the music in it and they had some fun with it. It just, it felt like they, they probably had a ball doing some of these scenes. There was a, a note on the front door of the movie theater warning that if you have epilepsy and possibly, you know, might be triggered by flashing lights that, uh, you know, warning seeing this movie. So Look just want to give that heads up what as well. A public service to, to everyone. Uh, just, I, I, I feel, are you, are you just trying to bump up our watch time with, 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 with what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say anything I might want to say because it'd be spoiler. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm handcuffed you're killing me right over now. Here. You're I'm killing handcuffed. Me. What else right are we going to talk about? We're going to start breaking down runtime. Um, was there anything that offended you in the credits, Adam? What is going on? Again, can't, can't, can't do spoilers. Um, you know, so it was definitely fun watching on the big screen. The movie theater was packed, so. It was, you know, the parking lot was packed. There were more people in the parking lot than p people that will actually watch this video. That's how, like, the <laughs> we'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've already seen the movie, spoiler free thoughts and opinions um, in the comments. We'd love to hear them. And, uh, you know, until our next video, which will probably be the spoiler review, this is Adam and Andrew with It Takes Two Takes. Benedict Cumberditch. Benedict Cumberditch. Benedict Cumberbatch. I think you said. Oh, ben I said Benedict. it wrong. Yeah. What did I say? I think you said Benedict Cumberbatch. I did not say Benedict. We're, we're going to replay it. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> um, 